Hi, this is Jensen Earth Science. Today I will do an overview of metamorphic rocks, specifically foliated regional metamorphic rocks. So we'll begin with the formation of foliated regional metamorphic rocks. These rocks are slate, phyllite, schist, and gneiss. To begin, metamorphic rocks can be formed from metamorphic, sedimentary, or igneous rocks. All three types of rocks can become a new metamorphic rock. Regional foliated metamorphic rocks are formed due to a combination of heat and also pressure. Due to this heat and pressure, the minerals in the original rock will recrystallize, forming a new metamorphic rock. Regional foliated metamorphic rocks are most associated with the building of mountains. So first we'll start with an original layer of sedimentary rocks, for example. These sedimentary rocks are in a perfect horizontal structure, and due to heat and pressure, they will change. So these arrows will represent the heat and pressure um, caused by the movement of tectonic plates creating mountains. So after the heat and pressure is applied, the original horizontal layers of sedimentary rocks will become metamorphic, and they will look like this. It's called folding, and that is due to the heat and pressure caused by the movement of tectonic plates. So due to that heat and pressure, recrystallization will occur, and regional foliated metamorphic rocks will then have foliation. So due to the heat and pressure, the crystals will realign, known as foliation. Specifically in the rock gneiss, it is called banding. So we'll start with, for example, an igneous rock. This will be our example for an igneous rock. The minerals in the rock have no specific order and they are not aligned. After we add heat and pressure, the minerals in the original igneous rock will then realign in what we call foliation. So you can notice the Rock on the left, the minerals are all, all, all over the place. After heat and pressure, those minerals realign and they are foliated. So for an example, we can use granite. It's an igneous rock with crystals in no alignment. After we add heat and pressure and heat and pressure and heat and pressure, this igneous rock can become the metamorphic rock gneiss. Metamorphic rock gneiss um, is aligned with minerals and in Nice's case, it's called banding. And you can see at the rock on the left, the minerals are kind of just blobs and they're put all over the place. The one on the right, the metamorphic rock, you can see the specific alignment of those minerals. So grades of regional metamorphic rocks. This is the Earth Science Reference Table. And on the Earth Science Reference Table, you can see the grades of metamorphism the lowest grade of metamorphism is slate. The highest grade of metamorphism is gneiss. Nice. That means that slate has gone through the least amount of heat and pressure, and gneiss nice has gone through the most amount of heat and pressure. This line will represent increasing heat and pressure. So to begin, the first metamorphic rock is slate. It has gone through the least heat and pressure. When I add heat and pressure to slate, I will then get phyllite. When I add heat and pressure to phyllite, I will get schist. When I add even more heat and pressure to schist, I will then have my metamorphic rock known as gneiss. I hope this was helpful. Please check out other playlists I've made on this topic and have a great day.